I wake up with sounds in my head and uh, the strength from God to go chase after him, you know, and the patience from God to go chase after him. But, uh, you know, it's kind of in me, man. It's part of my life. It's been the soundtrack of my life. And uh, I've been very fortunate to be able to add to that uh, soundtrack of my life as well as others. A talented older sister who, who was really into music and arts and just following her as a little brother, father playing guitar throughout the house. Mom quit in corporate America to follow her heart in fashion. It just kind of all started there. I Man, I was selling little cassette tapes in high school, a little songs I was making on a little keyboard, a little four track. And I brought my keyboards to Howard University, man, and then never turned back from that point. My big break was handing uh, my tape to Shy when they were students at Howard and they just got signed and they went to LA. I said, man, just pass my tape to somebody in LA. And, and man, thank God those brothers that they passed it. And sure enough, people from LA started calling right after that, man. It led them into my uh, career. I mean, there's always you know, highs and lows throughout everything, but that was really what got it started. I did a song called The Moon on Warner Brothers while I was at Howard. And I went back and finished at Howard. But while I was still there, uh, Kenny Lattimore uh, hired me to sing background for him on a Barry White tour, which was a great opportunity. Me and him have been real close ever since, too. We've been very fortunate, man, in you know, a lot of beautiful cities. And each one has a brilliant story. But I have to say that <coughs> the first time a song was taken from me and the crowd sang it and performed for me, you know, like I literally heard the crowd I had to stop singing and just watch them sing to me was London, you know what I mean? My first time ever in London, I did change for me. It was the first time performing out there and I could hear the crowd. I mean, it, it, it was overpowering me, the band, everything. So I took a step back and just listened, man. It was a very emotional moment, man. I work on a, a record I'm putting out uh, in January called uh, B-Sides, Features, and Heartaches. And that's really all the, um, the collaborations I've done with other artists on their records for the last 12 years. I'm pretty much collaborating with volume one of that record. I'm putting three new songs on that. And I'm also in the studio for my next studio album, which comes out somewhere mid of the year next year, 2014. To be able to create something, to be able to make a living, take care of my kids, my family, tour the world, doing something I love doing, which is making music, um, and inspiring other people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, those who are less fortunate, and those who really got it going on as well, you know, by doing what I do as a black man, doing music, man, it feels good, it feels empowering, it feels very good. In the pocket, huh. mind power.